Hey everyone, Captain Amazing here, and today I want to talk about cleanup teams, so let's jump into it. If you've played this game, then you have been in a situation where you've needed to clean up a very powerful opponent. It could be one, one team member, it could be a couple left, but in Grand Arena it's fairly common that we need cleanups to win the game. <clears throat> Otherwise, if it was like a one and one very difficult to have just super clean matches. But I wanted to talk, to talk to you about my five teams that I usually save on offense purely for cleanups. So let's talk about the first one, Imperial Troopers. So Imperial Troopers, I love this team. They are amazing because they have two assault battles at challenge tier three. You can do them fairly low gear. Piet is required for the Executor, which I advise most players to farm uh, as their first big farm. And then Veers is a requirement for a C, same thing as Stark. This fifth member here is a flex. So you can have Veers, Piet, Dark Trooper range, and that is the core. And in threes, it's Veers, Piet, Dark Trooper. But <clears throat> if you're going against Lord Vader, this fifth this fifth spot you're gonna want a cleanser it could be anyone it could be admiral akbar it can be uh Aiden is a good one uh there's tons of characters that cheru can also cleanse so you just need a cleanse so that you can gain turn meter and then you you can run your turn meter train and and pretty much kill lord vader so this team can clean up a lot like it can clean up <clears throat> It can clean up some Jabba's, it can clean up Lord Vader. That's the most common I use them for. They they have some other uses, of course, but as a cleanup, especially if you're going against Lord Vader, uh, it's fairly common that sometimes he just survives, like he ramps and outramps your team if you're using an older counter like Bounty Hunters or possibly uh, like a JML or something. Sometimes he just like outramps you uh, because you couldn't kill him fast enough. You just killed the sides and you, you need something cheap and even Lord Vader by himself can be pretty strong. So Imperial Troopers can be a really solid cleanup. And of course, like all these that I'm going to go over, they all have their other main uses of why you would want to use them. But I'm saying I always bring these guys on offense in my back pocket because I do. <clears throat> I, I plan out all my Grand Arena attacks and as far as like scouting and bringing what I need to beat the opponent but I bring these five just in case there's something that happens and I make a mistake or or RNG doesn't go in my favor so I I have these guys just in case but Imperial Trooper is an amazing team very budget friendly even with this low gear I don't I don't know what gear this guy is gear nine even gear nine no Zetas he elevates this team really really good team <clears throat> next we have is bounty hunters so bounty hunters have kind of fallen off at the end of uh, top of kyber there's not much use i can get out of them sometimes they beat a radis so i do bring them on offense because they're they get beat really easy on defense there you can kill them with imperial troopers for one so you, you just run a turn meter train uh, there's a lot that beats them but with the mandalorian this guy can uh, can disintegrate someone and that makes for a very easy cleanup if you have like a solo mag malgus if you have a solo lord vader then you can take fennec here on the lead and <clears throat> and you can clear this you just need bam here instead of boba fett so there's there's a lot that you, or you don't need bam you can uh, bam is more of like if you're just doing the counter straight up but there's a lot that you can do with this team so i do save it just in case because sometimes you have those opponents where like you have a solo Malgus left and the cheapest thing to clean up a solo Malgus is probably going to be bounty hunters. You just get your, get your, <clears throat> your contract and then just uh, disintegrate them with Mandal the Mandalorian. Uh, but very good team to have as a budget cleanup. I do like it. Again, you can, if you need to, you can make this your Lord Vader counter. Uh, there's a lot more reliable counters out there. You can, you can go with, if, if you're the top end, there's JML still really good. There's also there's also Bo-Katan Mandalore and even uh, Bane beats him very very reliably. But this team can beat him, 
but it feels bad. L like let's say you take this and you cleared out the sides and you have a solo load Lord Vader, like you still need something really strong to punch through that Lord Vader. Probably even even something that could have just beat it straight up like a like a JML or something or a, a Bo-Katan. So it's probably better to take the stronger of the two teams, beat Lord Vader, and then if you have to, you have this Bounty Hunter team as a cleanup, or if you get stuck, if you use like a Jedi Knight Calcestis or something against Malgus and you cleared out the sides for some reason, but you didn't get to your insta-kill, because uh because <clears throat> like calcestis died or something then you can use these bounty hunters to clear them and you, you don't need fennec you don't need boba uh the even grief like mando is the core of like the cleanup but if it's lord vader you do need like fennec bosk grief mando as the core and then that fifth is kind of a flex if you're if you're going straight up you do need bam so next we have geos and you may think like what can these guys clean up? And believe it or not, they, they can clean up Ray. Ray is a very difficult cleanup to do. If you've ever had a solo Ray, you'll realize that there's not much that can clean up Ray. Maybe maybe a gas can do it cheap as well, but Geo's is the most budget option for cleaning up Ray. They also can do other things if you have a solo thing out. Of course, they can't take out like a Malgus, but the, the Spies Yeet is actually really strong. So the Silent Strike, if you can uh, stack on a bunch of buffs on Spy and a bunch of debuffs on your opponent, then the Spy can do a really strong punch. So Geos don't really have an option. A lot of people in the lower ends throw them on defense, but they're they're not a good defense. I think having this team on offense gives you fun some functionality because Geo Brood Alpha is a pre-taunt tank that saves you banners if the tank dies. So uh, Geo Brood Alpha is, used to be my fifth. When we had the strong Revacron, I would beat it with Phoenix and I would bring Geo Brood Alpha as the fifth because they would kill the tank usually if you bring a pre-taunt tank but if you bring in the alpha they kill the alpha you get to your turn and then you can uh you joe brood alpha himself is still full health so you get max banners so all in all this team is a solid cleanup especially for ray if that's what you're looking for otherwise <clears throat> having just like this pre-taunt on offense pretty useful so i that's why i like to save this team as a cleanup just in case next we have cls and this may be pretty controversial because they're going to be like captain amazing this is an amazing team yeah that's true they are an amazing team but if you have to clean up something big like a like a lord uh not a lord uh a jml with like tank cron or even maybe a leia or something like there's not a lot that can clean up like top end things and having a cls there can give you that option to, to be able to punch through some things some some GLs that just need a heavy hitter to clean up like if you if you go against JML and you take a let's say like a you do the Treya off meta and you have like a gear 12 Treya sometimes like JML just ramps as well and then just kills everyone and you can't and or kills one person and you don't have the damage to punch through so you'll him and Savage will just like keep looking at each other as the as the timer goes down but having CLS is a budget way to to beat that JML and they, they do kind of fall off at the top of Kyber they are amazing uh, they're Datacron dependent they have a lot of uses but as a cleanup, they do the job very, very well. They they also can clean up some stuff like Jabba. So I, I think they are a valuable team on offense. I hate seeing them thrown on defense because they get beat cheats so cheaply with just a solo Savage. So I would say don't do that. Bring them on offense. You might get lucky and find something cheap to beat them with, or you can save them as a very, very strong cleanup team. And next we have is Star Killer. You can ignore these bottom things. I'm kind of at the <laughs> running at the end of my uh, my list here. But Star Killer themselves. So Star Killer, you may think like you are crazy. Why would Star Killer be a cleanup team? And believe it or not, Star Killer was for a very long time not able to beat Ray variants when they we had Raycron and it, they just weren't doing it and you had to bring something like Seer Malikos or SLKR or something just to beat that the Holdokron Ray and in that time everyone just threw Starkiller on defense and I would say like that's a mistake sometimes you you punch 
up against something where let's say you have a solo Leia like how are you going to clean up a solo Leia there's not a lot out there that's not going to that's going to be able to clean up a solo Leia that doesn't exactly have a good chance of just beating it out or beating her outright so having something like star killer on in your back pocket is an excellent cleanup team that can clean up a lot of the GLs without um, without being too prohibitively expensive because um, like I said we've we've lived without them for a very long time worst case once you've kind of cleared all the GLs and, and you have to clear like some back back wall teams they're very strong against those like B B plus teams that you'll see that are datacron dependent so I think star killer is an excellent cleanup team to save in your back pocket just in case you have to clean up like an s tier um an s tier gl because they they have really strong core turn meter mechanics star killer does tons of damage i think it's a very strong team overall but maybe the top tiers of kyber you some people may have ran out of uses for them and they just threw them on defense but i do think that even if Ray's Datacron doesn't allow them to win outright. I think that as a cleanup crew for those super top end GLs, that this is a very important team to save in your back pocket. So overall, that's my five teams that I save for cleanups. They, I always bring these teams on offense, whether I need them or not because they just clean up and allow me to full clear if I make any mistakes. And like everyone knows, we all make mistakes sometimes. So having these teams allow me to clean up those common mistakes that can happen just with RNG. So that's my list. Let me know what you guys keep on your in your back pocket just in case you need a cleanup. I know gas is probably a superb, uh, probably a superb uh, cleanup team. I'll give him an honor, honorable mention here, but if you guys can see, my gas is, is not going to clean up anyone. So honorable mention, I know he is very strong. He can clean up a lot of these these GLs, like he can clean up Rays. I'm sure he can clean up a, a lot out there, uh, just mine cannot. So let me know uh, what you guys save for your cleanups and how you deal with certain things. Uh, but otherwise, thanks for watching and everyone take care.